shocked that Emma Hayes uh, left, is leaving to go to the USA. Uh, I was shocked by the timing, but I can't be surprised given her previous statements about when a coaching the uh, US and obviously the US national team you expect that to be, uh, you know, uh, you expect you know, her to want to take that up um, when she was offered it, so in some respects that isn't a surprise that the job she took. Uh, obviously being dur during the season, uh, a bit unfortunate, but can't do anything about that, the World Cup was late, so uh, see, to, you know, into the season before the US made the decision to sack the old coach or not renew their contract, I don't know what they want to say. Um, but, you know, she hasn't been in, she's been quite clear about her dreams and she was always clear to us that she was never going to be, you know, at Chelsea for the whole rest of her career. So, you know, at some point she was going to leave, she just made me a bit of a shock by the time. Did, did you think she would have waited for the England game? Because a lot of the Chelsea supporters thought that might be the case. Um, I don't know. You have to speak to her about whether she actually wants the England job or whether maybe it's too much. Um, also the pressure. I think she could still deal with the pressure, but maybe the politics of it may be not her thing. So, you know, being in America where it's kind of a bit of a distance, away from where she, you know, coaching in, uh, with Chelsea in England suits her and obviously, you know, can probably impose herself more in terms of what she wants to do there, uh, in terms of the requirements that, you know, to sign up. Uh, do you think she's more attracted maybe to the American job purely because she was out there, she got sacked? Uh, from I one think of the it's very clear, obviously, her past experience has attracted her to the American job, but I wouldn't say that that would put off the FA job or the England job necessarily. I think obviously the timing is you should probably look at it when you know the England jobs aren't going to be available at the moment. You know, the US job is do I take it or not? And she obviously decided that she wants to take it now. Um, yeah, like I said, the timing's not brilliant, but I'm not sure what you can do about that. And the thing is, I mean, America, they, they want quick success. I mean, she had got much time for the Olympics, and they'll expect something, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'll definitely expect something, but she's got she's got the players there, and the Olympics isn't maybe like the, in the, isn't the same tournament as the World Cup. Uh, so she, she probably feel herself into the tournament a bit. And then, obviously, when it gets to the knockout stage, you'll have to have results, but you've got a bit of time. Rather than the World Cup, I think the public would expect results straight away. And, and do you think uh, because a lot of the senior players, the USA players, have left, that would be easier for because the younger players she can probably mould better, like how she did it at Chelsea? Um, some of the senior players have left, some of the senior players are still there. Um, we'll see whether it helps. I don't know whether it helps her or not, really. I think if the senior players were there, would she have them to lean on in terms of the experience and being able to use that, rather than the younger players she's going to have to be more active with. But like you said, on the other hand, she can mould them more. I don't know how it worked out. What she did at Chelsea was, it took time, she brought in some experience and she used that to kind of get going and then you know, brought in players that she wanted to, but she kept that experience. And you know, you look at the signings she made, she brought in players that were experienced that maybe weren't there for the long term, but she used to help the team, you know, overall to grow, you know, move forward. So, you know, just that experience, you know, that those experienced players going doesn't necessarily help her but she's still got some experience there to lean on. So I think overall, probably the balance is okay for her.